I hope you all would be able to see on your screen picture description. So you are now going to do the picture description that how to do the picture description. There are certain steps involved in it. There are certain important points which are needed to be keep kept into mind while you are handling the picture description. What are those steps? What are those important points? Let us see. Steps of picture description. Your first step in picture description is view the foreground of the picture. In the first step, you have to view the foreground of the picture. For example, if you just go back into this picture, you can see it has got a foreground. Foreground means all the things which are quite near to your eyes, okay, in front of your eyes or in front of the picture which are quite near to the view, while you're viewing the picture, you can see that some of the things are quite near to your view, okay? And you can observe them quite in front of you. So these are, these are the things which form the foreground of the picture. Like you can see this painter, this painter boy is quite near to your view, okay? His painting colors or platy on which the colors are there, they are quite near to your view. Then you can see a woman, maybe she is uh, she's selling some things, selling some kind of popcorn or juices to the people. She's quite near to the view. Some lady, she is doing, or a man is doing the jogging or doing some kind of exercise. He's quite near to the view. And then these mothers and parents, or these parents, mother or father, are quite near to your view. They are just playing with their babies, okay? The baby is crying and he is just playing with him. The man is playing with that baby, okay? Trying to compose that baby. Then uh, you can see the people, some of the people, they are, he, that man is lying on the mat and maybe that man is enjoying the music. This is a kind of speculation which I'm making. I'm not sure if really he's listening to the music. It seems to be, I think, some music instrument and maybe he's just listening the music. So you may make the speculations or guesses also about the picture. It is not quite a quite, uh, short, short thing or this is something very much uh, important that only you have to define only those things or describe those things which are definite. Definitely all those things which are definite, which are sure in the picture, you have to describe them. But sometimes you may make the speculations or guesses also about the pictures, fine? And you can see these people are playing with the music. He's playing with the guitar, playing some music on the guitar. Then that girl is sitting under, under the tree house and she's reading the book, okay? This is definite thing, fine? Or uh, then you can see this, all this which I'm describing to you, that is the foreground of the picture. Now, when we view the background of the picture, you can see there is a sun shining on the sky, on the blue sky, see the color of the sky, bright blue colored sky. And see the birds are there on the sky. There is also a plane which is flying. And then you can see a bus. There is a road on the bus. The, the, on, on the road, the bus is running. And then you can also see a boy is uh, riding a cycle. Okay, okay, bicycle he's riding, and then you can see also houses there in the background of the picture. So this is what the background of the picture, all those things which are far to your view, far to your observation, they are called the background of the picture. And those which are quite near to your view, they are called what? The foreground of the picture. You can also see a pond in the, in the foreground of the picture, fine. So the first step, is you have to view the foreground of the picture and then the next step view the background of the picture what is there in the background of the picture i told you i described what was there in the background and then in the third step you may make the speculation or guesses about the indefinite things sometimes the things are not quite visible to you they are not quite visible to you or uh, they are a kind of indefinite things you're not quite sure about them so you may make speculation or guesses about such kind of things, fine? So this is called what? You may make the speculation and guesses about the indefinite things while describing the picture. Now, writing a description, while how you have to write the picture description. 
first of all you have to divide your picture or your description of the picture into two paragraph first paragraph second paragraph only two paragraphs fine only two paragraphs in the first paragraph you would describe the foreground of the picture what what things or which things or people you have viewed which are quite near to your view or observation they they i told you are, are uh, they form as a foreground of the picture so you would describe all those things into the foreground fine and in the second paragraph you would describe all those things or people which you saw or observed into the background fine so these two paragraphs should be there into the description of the picture keep this keep this point important point in your mind now the next point is language which you have to use in your description what kind of language you have to use for definite things you would use there is it is there are they are fine for all those definite things or people which you viewed into the picture you may use there is there are it is they are fine he is she is only you have to use the word is is fine but for indefinite things for your speculations or guesses you would use these kinds of words it seems to be it can be maybe it looks like fine so start your sentences with these phrases or with these group of words while you are describing the speculations or guesses into your picture fine so we have discussed some of the, some of the important points in writing of your description it must be divided into two paragraph first paragraph of foreground and second paragraph of background language you have to use for the definite things there is it is there are they are it means with these words you have to start your sentences fine for the definite things and for the indefinite things these phrases you have to use and you have to start your st sentences with these now which tense you have to use into your description simple present tense or present continuous tense none other tense except for these two tenses simple present tense or present continuous tense these are the two tenses you have to use into your picture description like you can see i have provided you the sample also for the picture description you can see sample how to write picture description you can see here in this sample two paragraphs you have been given as i told you you have to divide your picture description into two paragraphs one of foreground and the second of background you can see this is the first paragraph uh, paragraph sorry of de defining or describing the foreground of the picture like let me read the first paragraph in the foreground of this picture i can see a park just see i can see a park there are many people in the park there are also many children in the park it looks like cold winter day this is a speculation for the speculation the words have been used it looks like a cold winter day people are wearing warm clothes some children are taking swings now for the sure short things or for the definite things we are using the tense are taking the children are really taking but remember this is not the description of the same picture which we saw in the beginning or in the in the very beginning slide okay this is the description of some other picture which i think i have discussed with you earlier in your last meeting session sometime 5 or 6 weeks ago there are different kinds of swings okay they are colorful these are all the definite things which the observer is describing a man is looking at them a woman is standing on swings she might be calling her child now this is a speculation for the speculation the word might be has been used fine this is the end of the first paragraph where all the things which were there in the foreground have been defined now come to the second paragraph in the for in the background of this picture now this second paragraph is only of background in the background of this picture i can see the trees the trees look beautiful they are tall trees some trees are bright green colored i can see a bird sitting on a tree it looks like a sparrow all the things in this background are the definite things but one there is one speculation or guess and that is it looks like a sparrow the bird maybe is not visible so that's why a speculation has been made that it looks like a sparrow so two paragraphs one of foreground and second of background and you may make the speculation here using the same phrases which i have defined to you now the next i am going to give you the practice time for the practice time this is the picture which we saw earlier in the first slide 
look at this picture view this picture make the observations about it like a good observer or a viewer what is there in the foreground what is there in the background make the speculations about this picture and keep them in the mind and then write the description about it now this picture is quite before you look at this place take some time and look at this picture very minutely like a good observer fine Once you have seen your picture, or you have made made the observations about it, both about the foreground and the background, and have made the speculation, then you would write it into these two paragraphs. Fine. Into the first paragraph, where you would write the foreground, what you have seen in the foreground of the picture, and the second paragraph, what you have seen in the background of the picture. Fine. This kind of paragraph you would be provided for it.